What's you up? mind if I ask you a question about Milo? Ask away, babe. All right. Okay, you said something, okay, towards the end of that conversation that I'm, I'm curious about. If it was like a gaff or if you were being honest. What? When, uh, in your closing statement, I think you said, um, you know what? Actually, this went exactly like I thought it was going to. Did you actually think that it was going to be that poor of a showing from Milo? No, if I thought it was going to be that bad, I would have never. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, I have like a hypothesis or whatever. I'm curious if you think it's true. Like, do you think that this was all just a big pub publicity stunt for him? Like he didn't come to argue. He didn't come to debate yeah, at all. Yeah, I think he's just, like, I think yeah. he's just like an ultra grifter. He's one of the few people that I think is actually grifting. I don't think he believes in the shit he talks about. But the problem yeah. is he's trying to, um, he just, he's, he's constantly searching for like a new audience. So he needs to keep like reinventing himself and shit. Cause he's not getting traction anywhere. He's like, yeah. he's still coming down from like those glory days of his like alt-right stardom. And being like yeah. the darling of Breitbart and all that shit. But um, yeah, he's yeah, obviously like a shell of his former glory. Yeah, I mean, like it, it felt weird because like I don't think Milo's a stupid guy. Like he's a good talker, or at least he has been. And he, he's funny too, but like... He's theatric. Feels... I don't want to be smart, but yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, I, maybe I should say he's quick. He's witty. He's something. Yeah, right? for sure. People weren't a fan of him for no reason at all. For sure. Uh, but it seems like now that he can't appeal to his old like veneer or whatever this thing of like oh i'm the uh, catty gay that says it like it is or whatever since he's like supposedly straight or ex-gay or whatever the heck now it's like he has no grounds by which to be funny or entertaining or anything he's just kind of like there yeah watching like a super serious milo especially coming out of the gate and doing the whole like the children think of the dead children and like, oh, <laughs> come on really like it's kind of yeah yeah it's kind of boring it, and it doesn't feel authentic at all either. Like you're just kind of saying words. Yeah, or that's how yeah. I say it at least. But yeah, but yeah, that yeah, guy. I mean, that's, yeah, he's fallen hard. So yeah, that's how it felt to me too. Um, did it feel like he had any presence on the stage, like in, in person? Um, I mean, he he was kind of he moved kind of weird. Like he was on drugs or something. I mean, his speaking is still pretty good. Like he's an okay like orator, I guess. I don't know if he's trying to copy Hitchens or whatever. A lot of people are saying, but um. I mean, yeah, but I mean, obviously, in terms of substance, he's sorely lacking, and yeah, and he looks kind of drugged out. Yeah, like his squinty eyes type thing, or what? Yeah, just yeah. He looked okay to me, at least. Like his his complexion didn't seem too bad. Seven files. But he actually seemed like. I guess I could be wrong, and I might just have a wrong vision of Milo in my head. But when I think of Milo, like Milo to me, standing across from me, looked like he was my height. Like, that's looked like how he carried himself. This guy's like 6'2". Mm. I feel like when I yeah. remember him traditionally, he's like a tall, proud, like very out there kind of guy. And here he seemed like more like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I'm trying to think of like past Milo speeches. Uh, I, I could be wrong. Like, so he, he is tall and he has been proud and he's been a lot more like peacocky and flamboyant, I think. But he's always had really like insanely bad posture, like super stooped over. Oh, maybe he did. Uh, and I just don't remember. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so very uh, disappointing then overall, I guess. Um, yeah, it was pretty stupid. Yeah. Uh, what audience do you think it was that he was trying to uh, appeal to? He's just trying to, he's trying to do this like Christian nationalist shit. Um, so whatever, like a very niche kind of far right audience that because the only platforms he really has access to now are, are like Telegram. Yeah. Um, so I, I think he's just trying to grift over there, but he's like embroiled in battle with like Fuentes and Alex Adli, um, Ali, Ali Alexander, these people, it's just like so much drama. And also he's like made enemies with almost everybody in the alt-right uh, and the right in general. Like nobody in the traditional right likes him. Like I'm getting fucking, not to blow anybody up, but I'm getting DMs from like Laura Loomer saying like, good job. Oh, <laughs> like, <shit>. yeah, <laughs> like people hate Milo so much. Every conservative person I've ever spoken to is like fucking hates Milo. And he's yeah. roasted like traditional media. He's roasted non-traditional media, right? He's fought with a lot of mainstream conservatives. He published that whole weird hit thing on Lauren saying that she like faked like payments and he posted shit on other things saying people were like stealing like a hundred bucks from him. Like he's just posted so much like weird out there shit and try to expose everybody apparently he had yeah. ghost writers for his early books that came out and revealed that um he's he's like trying to expose that ali alexander guy who started the stop the steel movement as like a pedophile um yeah, yeah he's he has just no credibility with anybody yeah yeah he's got no land to call his own damn that's crazy mm -hmm. um i don't know it's interesting seeing like it, it's obviously his like opening statement and all the shit he was saying about uh you and melina like all the all the digs or, and or whatever right it was mm -hmm. clearly pretty pre-prepared yeah of course um and so, oh no, was it was thinking... it was actually pre-prepared. So on his Telegram, like two days earlier, he was like 
tweeting out pictures of me and my son and he was being like hey does anybody know if this is actually his kid and i was like that's kind of weird yeah that's super fucking weird um okay yeah so was just <laughs> overtly pre-prepared um but it seemed it seemed like exactly what you would hear from your detractors in like uh, the Groypers or in Sneeko's community, right? Like literally just the same things over and over. It's and over. always like, going to be the same types of insults. Yeah. Like the fixating on my wife and kid, I guess, are always going to be the go-tos. Yeah. If they so have nothing of just, substance to say. Yeah. You think he's just trying to appeal to the Christian nationalists on the whole, like broader, like there's no more niche that he's trying to get into. It's just... I think that's all he's got. Down. He's burned every bridge and nobody else is going to take him or like him, so... Yeah. Maybe you need to turn him into an orbiter <laughs> <laughs> destiny. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. He's like not very reliable or he would be kind of funny, but oh yeah. no, these are I the mean, he's not even really coming. funny anymore. I think is the trouble. Like the only thing that he was funny about. Oh yeah. It was like being like end, flamboyantly but... gay and conservative and yeah. everything. And now he's not that. And, yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. And even when he was funny yesterday, the things that were funny was like homages to that. Like, yeah, oh, to my, being my gay. damn pillows. And mm -hmm. it's like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you can still do this <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Like, how are you trying to do the Christian nationalist thing? And appeal still to the gay shit like yeah it doesn't seem like you can do that yeah yeah brutal these okay. are the exact files that i recovered are you guys telling me these are fake files <laughs> okay anything else well yeah i was just saying good job man it was like extremely dominant obviously it wasn't all just because you're so amazing giga chad he performed really poorly but i mean it still looks good for you i guess yeah i guess thanks a lot i appreciate awesome. it man. be careful yeah yeah take care all right bye remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.